Hi, I'm Karen Rubin, and it's June 7th, again. This is my second attempt at my video blogcast. My video, is it a blogcast? No, my video vlog. In any case, I decided to try it again because it's really easy when you've had a gin and tonic, and I'm all set up, and I wanted to try another take with a different setup of the camera because someone told me that having the video camera looking up just shows your waddle and is the most unattractive position for a video camera to be in. So I thought I'd give this a go. Also, note to self, next time plug in my computer so it stops falling asleep in the middle of listening to me. That doesn't make you feel very good. In any case, uh, for this one, I wanted to talk about a book that I just finished reading. I just finished Born to Run by Christopher McDougall. And I'm surprised that it took me this long to read this book. I have been running for 14 years. I love running. I do, I, I competed for, well, through college, and for the last six years, I've just been running for me because I do love to run. It helps me solve problems. I have lots of energy, you might have noticed. Um, and running helps me burn off some of that energy, get a little bit of my aggression out. Aggression, that sounds so awful, but essentially just get a little bit of my energy out so that I can be more even keeled for the rest of the day. And Born to Run, it was a fantastic book for a couple of reasons. One, as a runner, I loved the discussion about just the physics of running and how your body's meant to work and just specifically your foot. Essentially, uh, modern day shoes created by Nike or Reebok or anyone, they blame it all on Nike, but lots of people create modern running shoes. They allow you to do like a heel toe motion when you're running. So you, you land all your pressure with a heel strike straight on your foot which really doesn't help your foot, which has an arch-like build to it. And it is actually built in order to cushion your body when you run. And so it was fa fantastic for me to read about this and see some of the reasons why I run the way I run, why my stride is how it is, versus how it could be if I chose to run barefoot, for example. So because of everything I read in the book, I've actually decided to try running barefoot. Um, they do tell you, you shouldn't start going out and run on the sidewalk barefoot. That's the fastest way to uh, stress fracture. And so a couple days a week, I've been going and just adding a mile in on the grass at the track at Tufts. I live right near Tufts University. And so I just run circles around the track there um, barefoot. It, it's great. I actually feel fantastic. It's one of the best uh, best runs I've had recently. Um, my feet, it's weird. After I finish running, they feel warm. They're actually, they actually feel like they've been used as opposed to when they're confined within these shoes that give them all the structure and support that they need. Um, the only problem is that the field is covered in goose poo because it's where all the geese hang out at Tufts. And so I kind of have to jump and skip and hop around all of that, which probably isn't the best. Um, there's a field behind my house that I'm actually looking to try out running at uh, soon. The book is also fantastic because Christopher McDougall is a journalist and it's a nonfiction book. And I actually, I don't read a lot of nonfiction. I much prefer novels. And this book actually reads like a novel. He does a really good job of building the characters out in the book so you feel a connection to them and just drawing you right in so that it's not all the physics of running and, you know, really kind of running mumbo jumbo. I uh, suggested it to my dad and he's reading it now and he's acknowledged he's really enjoying it as well. And so I don't think that I only liked it because I'm a huge running dork. I think that it, I, I thought it was really well written, written and um, it was a great book to sit down and enjoy. Uh, if you've got some time and want to learn about some amazing people that do distance running and a little bit more about how your feet work. In any case, uh, that's all. Born to Run, Christopher McDougall. Thanks so much for joining me.